Sean from Smart Electrical Solutions in Melbourne. Guys, today I just wanted to show you through the simplicity of push notifications and writing scenes. Push notifications are really handy when we want to have a, uh, an event happen. It sends us a notification, but it gives us an option to do something on the back of that notification without us having to go and open the Fabaro app and, and log in and etc. etc. That makes it really quick and easy. So an example might be uh, that, you know, let's say that the garage door is open. It sends us a notification that says, do you want to turn on the garage light? Something like that, if it's not automated. Or, or it might be that the garage door is open and do you want to close it? You know, that you've left it, left it open and, and gives you an option to do something with it. So I'm just going to show you here. Um, very simple to write these scenes. So just in the first part, you know, we, we say uh, uh, if all of these are true, so in this case we've just got one state we're looking for. So if the front door status in this case, so I've got a, um, a sensor on the front door, if the front door status equals open, we're going to use that as our trigger to start the scene. We then come across here and we drag in, so we've got our choices on what we do over here, so we grab notification, we drag an interactive, grab an interactive push notification and bring it in. We're going to set it up and we're going to decide who we're going to send it to. So this is the uh, the list of users uh, in my system here. So I'm going to choose my phone to send it to. Uh, it's going to have a header for the message, so your front door is open. And then, would you like to turn on the light? So in this case, it might be that I've opened my front door. Do I want to turn on the light just inside? Uh, it'll pop up. It'll give me an option of yes or no. And if I press yes, it will execute this command here. So I'm going to say the living room, family down lights, need to turn on. So it'll pop up. I hold my finger on there, it'll give me an option of yes or no, and then I can turn the lights on from there. So it's really quick and easy without having to uh, go into the app. So we'll jump across onto my phone now. I'll run through that and show you how it works. They're really, really simple. Anybody can do them and they have massive uses. Let's take a look at the phone. Okay, so I'm just about to open my front door. So as I open that, I'll expect I'll get a notification come through. It's now open. There's the notification which says your front door is open. Would you like to turn on the light? Now, if I just push and hold on that, it then expands out and gives me the option. Yes, I'd like to turn on the light. And what's happened now is that's just turned on the light inside my house, just inside the front door. So very handy thing. Uh, you can use it for things like garage doors that might be left open. So it might take you to a screen that, so you can then push the button to shut the garage door. Uh, you could use it for an alarm so that if the alarm goes off, you want to turn on all the floodlights. There's many, many different options you can use a, an interactive push for. Uh, really handy thing on the back of your automation. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep an eye out for the next one.